Welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to search for peer-reviewed journal articles using the library catalog OneSearch. My name is Trix, a library student ambassador, and today we are going to be covering how to find scholarly articles using the library catalog OneSearch, how to save and cite your articles, and how to use interlibrary loan to get journal articles that are not carried by the library. To begin, we are going to open up the library homepage library.csueastbay.edu. We are going to be using the Library Catalog One Search to find our articles in this video. It is best to use this method if you know the title of the article you are looking for or know the specific topic you are researching. If you are doing a more general search for articles, it may be helpful to search using a database tool instead. For more information about searching for journal articles through databases, check out the link in the description below. We are going to click on the Articles tab, so our search will be filtered of unrelated library items, such as audios, videos, and books. Type in your search topic or journal article name into the search box and click Search. You may have a large number of articles in your first search, so it can be helpful to use the filters on the left side of the screen to get rid of results that won't be helpful to you. One important filter that is under Available at CSUEB is the Peer Reviewed Journals filter, which means we will only see articles that have gone through a certain type of peer review process by other experts in the field. This will get rid of any results that are not from peer reviewed scholarly journals. There is also the Sort By feature which you can use this option to sort by relevance, by date, by title, or by author. I'm searching for articles by relevance, so I'm not going to change this right now. I am looking for more up-to-date articles, so I am going to narrow the publication date to between 2000 and today. Lastly, I am going to filter it by language to include only articles in English, though you can filter it to as many languages as you'd like. Once you filter your results, look through and locate articles that would best suit your research topic. When you find one that you're interested in, click on it and it will bring you to more information. Here you will see the title, authors, subject tags, publisher, and a link to the article. Click on the link under Full Text Availability, enter your NetID and password, and it will take you to the article. Now there are a few options to save your article for future reference. At the top of the library catalog page, you will see a toolbar with a few options. You can use the citations tool to cite in the format of your choice and save the citations to help find the article later. You can also copy the permalink, which will take you back to the articles page. You can email the article to yourself or another person, print it, export the article and its information into an Excel sheet, and text the article to a mobile device. You also have the option of doing an advanced search, which is located at the top of the search results page. This is similar to searching with a database, where you can search by field, material type, language, and date. You can also use Boolean operators to help with your searching. If we do not have the article that you are looking for listed in the library catalog, you can still get access to it through interlibrary loan. To submit an interlibrary loan request, scroll down to the bottom of the library homepage. Under Find Library Materials, click on Request an Interlibrary Loan. It will ask you for your NetID and password, and if you have not set up an account with the Interlibrary Loan Service, ILLiad, it will have you set one up first. After that, it will direct you to the main menu. On the left side of the page, under New Request, click Article. You will need to provide the journal title, volume, year, inclusive pages that the article is found in, author, article title, and a date that you will not want the article after. Answering the other fields can be helpful, but not necessary. Once you are finished, submit the request. You will know that the request has been submitted successfully when you see it on the main menu. Interlibrary loans normally are processed in one to three business days. You will receive an email when the article is ready and can pick up the request at the library. I hope this tutorial has helped you with your search for scholarly journal articles using the library catalog. Consider checking out some of our other tutorials on our library YouTube page for more information about the library resources available to you. And remember you can always set up an appointment with a librarian for more guidance.